Let's see. Yamaha RD400 um, caliper day. So I started on the calipers last fall and they are a complete disaster. I mean, this thing was sat, sitting outside for 25 years. So um, it wasn't that easy because I had to rebuild the master cylinders and I think I screwed up the front master cylinder. I think there's a clog in one of the ports. So it's not building up pressure. And I need that pressure to push the, uh, the pistons out. So if you haven't seen this before, what I did is I sort of abandoned the, um, the stock master cylinder for now. And I'm using a Honda Rebel uh, reproduction. So there it is. Looks great. It's about 15 bucks. And so you can see those pistons now coming out that's a lot of progress so now they're both moving there we go look at that man that's not so bad as far as progress goes look at that okay let me check on my fluid I'm just gonna add more brake fluid this is about the same price as a cheap wrench, if you think about it. Oh, look at that. And we have separation. See the, see the fluid come out? There we go. All right. So let's see if this works. I split the caliper so that I could get to each one. I think I should have done this first, but I didn't think of it until now. I have no idea if it's going to work. But finally, I got this thing bled enough. Now I'm going to see that other piston moving. I think this is the big moment where finally these godforsaken pistons are coming out. So that's the one that was completely frozen before. Kind of looks like, oh, look at that, it's out. Wow. Okay, that's good news. Let me get a tray to dump this fluid into. this comes out because I am kind of sick of this whole thing. So I've been working on this since the fall. I just didn't have the... I never got the right situation to get these pistons out. So my guess is, my guess was right that I didn't rebuild the master cylinder correctly or there's that clogged little port in there. There's a little orifice that gets clogged. Let's see if this comes out. Yep. Yep. Unbelievable. Look at that. It is part and messy. What a mess. All right. Let's complete this fun fest by
Okay. So here we go. We got both halves apart. Absolute disaster in there. Pistons out. Those will go right in the garbage. Oops. Here's the other one. All right, pistons out. End of that saga. I already got those out, but just in case you haven't seen this, this little guy. two seals. On the RD. Some bikes only have one. There you go. So next I gotta take a brass brush all through there. Get rid of all that rust and nonsense. Oh and this has got to come out too. And that does it. That's for another day. Another pistons out. You can see all the crusty rust in there. Let's keep going that little mushroom tray. Same with this guy. Yeah, maybe change up a little bit. Maybe do like that. I'm gonna use some of this stuff. Here's the big reveal. Look at that. Go evapor rust. Now I clean these with brake cleaner. Because of course they were soaked with dot five brake fluid. Let's see, I took a little bit, a bit of this white scotch brake. I think I'm gonna have to mask and paint down that first quarter inch of the caliper. We've got the caliper split, right, piston out, and it's soaked in evaporust for 14 hours. But there's still some grime in there. And you know, we're gonna have to paint this surface, right? You can't leave that raw steel. So we're gonna have to mask the shiny bits, that shiny area in there and then paint everything else. So we're going to have to take a brass brush to it so we don't do any damage, but we, at least we clean it up. So, let's see. Let's do this outside. So let's grab this and the drill. But really I just take like that. Sorry. All right, now it's time to get this cleaned up and ready for uh, primer. So I'll clean all this out and then uh, get some painting done. Mask it, get some painting done. All right. All right, real quick, here's the caliper, front caliper, all painted with the uh, Eastwood Extreme Chassis Black. I'm ready for a rebuild, so we're gonna put this guy together real quick. First thing is brake, brake masters, 
it right? Break, sorry, Break Crafters kit comes with the red rubber grease, all the goodies you need. So we'll do one side and the next. We're going to get everything with a light coat of red rubber grease first. So I always, ever since I, I can't believe I never even heard about red rubber grease until about two years ago. Anyway, the seal just pops in pretty straightforward. Okay, that's done. Now for this one. It's the light coating of the grease. There we go, it's seated properly. All right, next is uh, HVC cycle stainless steel pistons. I heard that phenolic pistons are even better, which makes sense. But uh, I've got the stainless pistons, and I'm gonna only put the Red River grease right on this leading edge on the sidewalls, and not a lot, you don't wanna choke it with red rubber grease, just enough to put together now. That drops in there. And it should just press on. So let me get a paper towel in my hands. to go in a bit further than that. So let me see if I can tap it in. Yep, so now it's all the way in. I just hit it in with the mallet.
All right, if you haven't seen this before, and this is probably not obvious, I mean, news, but to install the caliper, you have to rotate the wheel so the spoke is out of the way, and then you bring the caliper in like that, and then it'll drop down in position. Now we still need the bleeder and everything, I just want to make sure it fit, so that's what we've got now. So it's time to put the bleeder in. I think I'll keep the original hardware. Why not? Kind of matches the fork. There we go. Put the bike all original. Now, I didn't put the anti chatter shims on. So I have to still do that. So I'm going to have to take this all back apart again. But that's not looking too shabby. You don't need the brake pipe when you convert to the braided stainless steel line. So we're just putting this in <laughs> this is actually 7 sixteenths this um galfer brake hose okay so we got that I I thought I was going to this tube here yep that's gonna go into a bottle